it's about to go down. Project Mustang, bringing it back to life, buying a wrecked car, rebuilding it on YouTube. That's the trend these days. It's back, boys. The Mustang is almost done. We're gonna go pick it up right now. As you guys saw yesterday, all the stuff pretty much got finished, painted, and we're, we're gonna go there and help just on the last home stretch to get everything complete and take her home and finally get to start crashing on the street and losing control of the car. I'm very excited about that. Let's get going. Let's stop wasting time. That was it? They don't even know who you are, Cal. I'm, not, I'm new to this. Calvin went to the Philippines, actually. He just got back. Like, welcome <laughs> back. How does it feel? I, did, I mean, it was, How was warm. It, it felt good? like Hawaii. Yeah. Japan, maybe. Did you see your, see your family? Did you uh, like? I mean, I got to see some family. It was good out You're there. Bunsing? No, You're Bunsing? You're not I? No, Benedict You're... didn't come. He oh. School, you know, sorry, dude. <laughs> oh, hey, look at this guy. Who's this guy? Whose car is this? Nice car, Cal. Surprise, we're actually, they're rebuilding it for you. There she is. So Calvin and I are going to help put all this back together so we can expedite the process. Oh, oh that's dope. So you guys have to get this. This the light that goes there. We might we have broke. that. We broke. We broke it. Okay. Dude, this front bumper is sick. I really like it. Reuse the fog lights and reuse the turn signals on it, and all the plastics are new. And it also came with this little lip as well. And then that whole front grill comes with the kit too. Assembling the rear end of the car now, putting these tail lights in. We're still waiting on one more part from Ford that's on its way, and it's the rear bumper bracket. This piece is brand new, and then we're also missing the side piece right here. If you look at the right hand side, you can kind of see what it's supposed to look like. That's to help hold. In the bumper so we have one being on the way that should be here any moment and once that's in we'll put that in there and then i can go ahead and put this new taillight in which is brand new too bad i wasted money on this one it's kind of broken if anybody wants it i'm gonna be selling it on instagram for like dirt cheap if anybody wants it so Keep your eyes peeled for that. While I'm doing the rear end, Calvin is repinning the wiring modules for this front bumper. The Roush reuses the stock lights, but it came with a new harness and we need to redo the plug on the back right here. So it's actually very simple, but Calvin just needs to like repin it. Oscar's over here putting in work in the paint nice and shiny and just polishing some of the stuff up. And then we got the front bumper on and then she's ready to come home. Here are the side scripts for the car. We're actually missing a bunch of these clips. A lot of them just got broken. They have a bunch of OEM clips from Ford. We're just going in and on all the empty spots and on all the broken ones, throwing a new clip so when this goes back in, it's nice and sturdy. There was a missing plug behind this plate. We couldn't figure it out, but when we went to go look behind this light, he found out that it was the bulb, actually. Go ahead and take this outside of the old This headlight. is the broken one that we replaced, yeah, right? this is the busted ass biscuit. Oh, okay. We'll pull out this headlight, stick it in there, plug it into here, lock it. We got working headlight. Calvin over here. Hey, oh, look at Calvin, the wiring guru. Damn, Calvin, you're a guru. It was, it was a light bulb. Damn, Cal, the Stop. guru. Stop. Who are you, bro? Oh, <laughs> Damn. Stop. I didn't do it. I just put it together, dude. So there's a little bit of a part where they had to flatten it out, put a little body filler, but TJ thinks he's up to the task. You think you got this, Teej? No. I ain't no pussy, baby, okay? Don't test me. I'll paint it. I'll spray it right now. <laughs> Don't ask. Just look, Cal. Calvin does it, man. You already know. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here, man. You got it, Teej. I'm, it. Dude, I ain't scared. Yeah, I know I you're not nervous. scared. I got it. Okay. Uh, I'm yeah. try that first. I got it. <laughs> Can't pull it all the way, dude. Oh, shit. Hey, 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 that's looking not happy. You don't look I'm like- I'm out here, cuz. I got it. <laughs> I don't even need instruction. I, I do. You're gonna send it, dude. You're gonna send it right now? You're not, under no adult supervision? Well, hey, hey, what? Trigger safety, team. Oh, oh. 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 Yes. As you guys can see, TJ actually messed up. It wasn't that good, but you know, give it, give it the old TJ's Christ try, you know? We're trying it. Oh, I, you're trying. I oofed it. You, I, I explained it. That's all right, TJ, you've been painting for a hot minute. I see. There you go. That was pretty light, but. That's, that's good. That's gonna dry way more faster once you sand it, and then give it your good passes, you know? Uh -huh. Final passes, so the throw the clear on there, be all ready to go, man. I'm a wizard! I'm a wizard! Come on, man, do it! Come on! Figure it out! You guys doing magic? That was crazy! <laughs> <laughs> 
You guys had over a thousand comments. So before we rip this fat burnout for the big W we got today, we're gonna let the car heat up, obviously, and we're gonna put this Roush Performance badge on the front bumper. Oh yeah. What we did exteriorly that was different than stock is now you can see we have the Roush Performance front end with the full face kit. So it has the lip, it has the extra pieces, has the grill, has all that good stuff. We ended up going with this stock hood. I really like the stock hood on this car. I think it looks really good. And other than that, exterior-wise, what we've done so far is all we have is an RTR rear diffuser on the car. So that is just this little extra piece right here. These two little fins. And keep in mind too, we have no exhaust beyond the headers right now. So it's a little loud and we're obviously missing the exhaust tip. Uh, but that's all we got so far for exterior. There's a lot to come. So to celebrate our victory and getting this car back, we're gonna rip a big burnout. I'm gonna take traction control off and I guess just send it. The Mustang should be able to do a stock burnout, now, no problem. Front brakes didn't hold it. Traction control is on. So you go to line lock, it's really yeah. cool. Let's go forward a little bit. Hold, finish, watch. So you hold the brakes. Yeah. And then it says engage, press OK to begin. And I have 14 seconds. Okay. Right. Okay. Take it straight back. This is where I need you guys to chime in. Mustang owners, what should we do to this car? I want to do some exterior stuff. I love this front end. This front end is so nasty. Do you guys recommend any side skirts or maybe like a rear spoiler or something? Let me know. And also, if you have one already, smash that thumbs up button. It helps to channel out more than you guys know. I always appreciate the love you guys give on the videos. Oh, he just ran over my shoe. You're... Okay, you're good. There you go. Mustang already running stuff over. You're good, you're good, you're good. You're gonna run that over again. You're good. Come forward. Come forward. You're like on a bunch of shit. Forward. What are you doing? Come over here, bro. Come forward. What are you doing? Why are you backing up? Cal, go forward. Oh, am I running over your shoes? Yes, you fucking asshole. <laughs> bro, that looks so good. Oh, did I, did I run over your shoes? Did it, was that what I was... <laughs> I'm ready to fucking find some crowd. Give me a curb. Yeah. No, dude. dude I'm just trying. To, I'm just trying to fit in, dude. Don't. You can't. You can't be running people over. <laughs> oh, dude, it's good. I'm pumped. I'm so pumped. What we have 
Now we'll eventually be able to show you what's in all these boxes. And you guys can already tell we have a new exhaust that I actually want to throw that on there right away. But like I said, comment down below. What are some things that we should do? Mustang owners, I'm talking to you guys. S550, what are some good mods that we need to do to this car? Maybe some traction control mods. That's what we No, no, no traction control mods. Oh, I actually want to talk about that because in the video probably made me look like an idiot. When we were trying to do the burnout, I was turning the traction control off. And turning the traction control off isn't really turning the traction control off. And that's what a lot of times happens with modern cars. The moment I went to like do a burnout, the idle would just cut off and the brakes would creep and it wasn't actually locking up. So there's actually a burnout mode on this car called line lock and then we were using line lock and it took me like a couple times to figure out how to use that. But then line lock only lets you do a burnout for 15 seconds. So I know all the Mustang owners are gonna be like, yeah, it sucks, but it is what it is. And you can't really hold it. I wanted to do like a minute long burnout and like really blow these tires off, but the car would not let us. We probably could have pulled like a traction control fuse or something like that, but I'm sure I'll get a lot of comments saying this is a better way to do it. Anyways. I'm not an idiot. I'm only kind of an idiot, but I did the best I could. Yeah, it was. It looked good though. We cooked it. It was really weird because after he he got off the the throttle, car started moving forward a little bit. I don't. I know. I was it. holding the brakes, and it like wasn't the line lock like automatically holds the brakes for you. So like when I was doing That's that burnout, my foot was not on the brake. It's a, interesting. I'm sure someone in the comments will like really like dive into it, but it's it's a very yeah. weird feature. And then after the 15 Let seconds, I was on the brakes still, and it was acting. I don't know. It was kind of dumb. But it is cool they offer that feature, but also kind of dumb. Help us send these tires to where they belong. In the crowd. I mean, burnt. Wow. All right, we are heading out of here. We are actually going to see Endgame tonight. And the movie is in like an hour and a half. So we got to speed home, shower, change. And I'm finally going to go see this movie because I'm overseeing all these spoiler alerts about it. Big hypes, big hypes on that, boys. The tattoo squad, the vlog squad back together again. Ow, it's fucking tender today, boys. Ooh! Why did you guys get any snacks? Yo, you can't sneak those in there. Nice tat, dude. You got in and out? Uh, yeah. I'm getting ready to watch Avengers. I'll be getting my unofficial official review of Endgame after the film. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but it was it was awesome. No, if you haven't, it, no. because they already spoiled no. it for me. I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna be that guy. All I will say is, if you want to like be like somewhat tuned in with the movie, don't be her. And actually, sorry, that didn't make sense. <gasps> She thumb. Do yourself a favor and watch the last five movies before yeah. not five. Watch the last few. Feel that. Because Because I had no they're all it's like intertwined. What was going on? But it was on. great. I really loved it. Anyways, we're gonna have a new outro for this video. So again, shout out to the boys who are making little cool little outros. I thoroughly appreciate it. If you want to make an outro and see it on the vlog, make me one and email it to me, and odds are I'll probably use it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Peace out and keep moving forward.